Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we'll disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Redmi K30. At the very beginning, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we use a special tool. We insert it into the hole and push out the combiner tray for SIM and memory cards. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to the assembly. To remove the back cover, we will use a plastic film. It is a protective film from a new display or a film from the stationary store. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. And we open the back cover, only the gasket is located on the cover. Next, we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or HTO. It looks like the screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order just in case. And using a non-metal tool, we detach the cover hiding the motherboard. After that, we disconnect the battery connector also with a non-metal tool. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver. It looks like the screws are also the same, but we would still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. If a screw gets stuck, we can use tweezers to remove it. And we detach this cover along with a stuck screw. We also detach the loudspeaker Gently hook it by the edge, lift it up and remove it. Then we disconnect the connectors of the interboard cable and put it aside. The direction to the motherboard is indicated on the interboard cable. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and turn the cable aside so that it doesn't interfere with us. Ok, we move on to detaching the subboard. We find the right and convenient place for us to hook the subboard. The subboard is recessed into the display frame and is also held on clips or hooks. On the subboard we have the headset jack port charging port, microphone and other elements on the inside. In our traditional test, we insert the tool into the microphone hole. There is no protective mesh, but there is a gasket on the other side. The microphone hole is L-shaped and the microphone is located on the other side of the subboard. So, it is impossible to damage the microphone through this hole. Ok, we move on to detaching the cameras. First, we detach the rear cameras. The rear cameras are glued to the shield on the motherboard with a copper heat dissipating coating. These pieces of copper are better to try to keep, as they dissipate heat from important components. And we can see these cameras are inserted into a small frame. Then we peel off the heat dissipating coating on the earpiece speaker. And we can detach the front cameras, where we also try to keep the heat dissipating coating, because it dissipates heat from the cameras and at the same time not to damage the camera cables when detaching them.
Let's move on to disconnecting the connectors, to the display connector, and disconnecting the coaxial cable connector, the connector to the fingerprint sensor, and the connector to the sensors. And we can detach the circuit board. We gently hook the edge and leave the motherboard. On the back side of the motherboard is located the card connector. So that is the end of our deal assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until the next video.